in this question, we're going to cover a game theory question. So usually when we have a game theory question, we're trying to find out who has a dominant strategy. A dominant strategy is when one column or row is more profitable than another column. And we'll take a look at how that works. So with a game theory question, you're dealing with an oligopoly kind of market. And in an oligopoly, you have mutually dependent firms. And what that means is Sears in the oligopoly will respond depending on what Walmart does. So let's see if Walmart lowers their prices, what will Sears do? If Walmart lowers their prices, we have an option to lower or not lower. And our decision depends on the profits we make. So here's Sears profits in green. So we only compare Sears profits. So if Walmart lowers its prices, are we going to lower or not lower? Well, if we lower, we can make 17. If we don't lower, we're going to make 6. So what are we going to do? We're going to want to lower our prices because it's greater than 6. Say, we see, say Sears sees that Walmart doesn't lower their prices. So we still have the option to lower or not lower. So if we don't lower our prices, what do we want to do? If we make our prices lower, then we'll make 10 of a profit. If we don't lower, we'll have only 9 as our profit. So we're still going to make our prices lower because our profit is greater. Now, because we chose to lower our prices regardless of what they do, then we have a dominant strategy. So a dominant strategy is when both of your profits are greater for an entire option than the other. And that's comparing the columns for Sears. So say instead we want to see if Walmart has a dominant strategy. Now since Walmart on this game theory matrix is on the kind of the horizontal axis, we need to compare the rows here and not the columns. So we'll take a look at how that works. So now we're going to compare the Ws for Walmart's profit. So we're going to remember we're in an oligopoly market, and Walmart is going to respond to whatever Sears does. So say Walmart sees that Sears is going to lower their prices. If Sears lowers their prices, we have these options, to lower or to not lower. Now. We see that Sears is going to lower, so let's take a look at lowering our prices. Is that going to be a good or bad thing? If we lower our prices, then we can make a profit of 6, or we can make a profit of 1 if we don't lower our prices. So if Sears lowers its prices, are we going to lower or not lower? We're going to lower our prices because it's greater than not lowering our prices. Now say we see that Sears doesn't lower their prices. So now we need to see, are we going to lower or not lower? Now, if we lower, Walmart will make a 3 of profit, which is less than making a 9 of profit if we don't lower. So since 9 is greater than 3, we're going to want to make a profit of 9. So here, we're going to not lower our prices. So here, does Walmart have a dominant strategy? They don't because they will lower the price or they will not lower their price. They'll not lower their price with a profit of 9, but they'll lower their price with a profit of 6. So that's not a dominant strategy because they're not going to do the same option regardless. Sears will always lower their prices. So Sears does have a dominant strategy. So with a dominant strategy, you need to compare the columns for Sears. So we compared the 17 versus the 6, and then we compared the 10 versus the 9. For Walmart, since it's on this side, we compared the rows. So we compared the profits in blue, the Walmart, W for Walmart. So we compared the 6 with the 1, and the 3 versus the 9. So remember to compare your rows for Walmart and your columns for Sears. And if you have an entire option that was better for Sears, like we had for Sears, we always lowered our prices, you'll have a dominant strategy. For Walmart, because we either not lowered our prices or lowered our prices here, we don't have a dominant strategy. So that's how you solve game theory.
The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center, 